Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Georgina and on this channel I pretty much just show my life which includes makeup, skincare, challenges, all that type of stuff. So that sounds like something you are interested in then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button to be notified on when I post a new video. If you watched my cheap versus expensive makeup, then I asked at the end if you guys had any more other like challenge ideas or just in ideas in general, then please comment them down below. And a few of you gave me this idea that I should do a wear test. Pretty much, so one day I'm gonna be wearing my cheap makeup and one day I'm gonna be wearing my exper expensive makeup and I'm literally just going to be wearing it for the whole day. Today I'm going to be, I'm going to show, do like a little time lapse of me putting on my makeup and for today I'm going to be wearing all my expensive makeup all on my face. I'm going to come back in probably like five, six hours later and show you what the results are and then on another day I'm obviously going to wear all my cheap makeup and do the exact same um so hopefully you'll get an idea of what's going on as we do this obviously if you can't tell from my face and my voice i've literally just woken up it's like half eight in the morning i feel tired <laughs> but i'm ready to do my makeup for the day i'm having a lovely day today i'm going out to see my dad my stepmom and my grandparents so I'm excited. So like I say, all the products I use for today is from my expensive side. So if you haven't seen that cheap versus expensive video, then I recommend you watch that first, just so you know what products I'm using. Let's just get on with this time lapse. <laughs> So this is my makeup. Obviously I haven't done my lips, but um, I'm gonna go in and have my breakfast and have a cup of tea. Um, so I thought there's no point me putting lipstick on yet um, because it's just gonna come off anyway. So I left my lips, but everything else is done. Very simple. Um, like I say, this is all my expensive makeup. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, like I say, it's going to have my breakfast, going to have some meat to drink, and I'm going to go and get change and then apply my lipstick. I'm going to show you my makeup in natural lighting so we can get a better view because I feel like the ring light sort of takes a away a lot of the like imperfections. So I want to show you what my makeup looks like in natural lighting and then I'm going to start my day pretty much. So I'll see you probably when i'm showing you my outfit i don't know but i'll see you at some point and i'm back i'm now changed ignore my messy bed but i wanted to show you my outfit this top you may recognize from my charity haul and the jeans are from simply b and oh, let me try and show you my shoes the shoes are from asos but the outfit's not important i just wanted to show it because I thought I looked cute. Um, so let's get on to the makeup. 
and this is what the makeup's looking like like i said i really wanted to show you in natural lighting because i feel like you can really see the makeup more clearer and you can see what it's looking like right now i've only been wearing my makeup for about an hour so far um because it took me i took forever to decide what i wanted for breakfast and then i was trying to decide on what outfit i wanted to wear you know the important things so now i'm just waiting for my dad to arrive and pick me up um i'm probably not going to film during the day because i'm going to be out um but i'll film when i come back home and it will probably be like i don't know probably like six seven hours later from now um but yeah this is what the makeup's looking like very pretty now, obviously i finally put my lipstick on as well and yeah so i'll see you in about i don't know probably five six hours i'm finally back it's now eight o'clock in the evening i think the last time i spoke to you it was like 10 o'clock in the morning it's now eight in the evening i'm my plan was I was going to show you my makeup in natural lighting in the evening. But the problem is if you live in the UK, then you know what I'm talking about. Because we're now like in the autumn weather, our nights get really like dark quickly. Um, so like it started getting dark here at like five, six o'clock. So I can't really show you my makeup in natural lighting so i'm going to try my best to show you now i'm going to sort of describe what i can see in real life so obviously the first thing that's obvious is the lipstick has obviously come off the only thing is well i don't know if you can see or not um my mascara has smudged a little bit underneath my eyes i'm a bit shiny on my forehead i feel like if i do that <laughs> if i do that you might see it um and yeah so like my mascara is smudged a bit the eyeshadow is okay it's starting to go a bit patchy um my blush is still beautiful the highlight is still wonderful the bronze is still okay um obviously like you can start to see my spots coming through um but obviously the foundation i used was a tinted moisturizer so it's not a full coverage like foundation so they're still kind of covered but in real life they you can see like you can see them poking through for sure um and my eyebrows are still pretty good as well they still look decent um i actually am happy with this look the only thing i would do is powder down like my forehead and my nose um and obviously the makeup has kind of come off around my nose and my upper lip beauty blender around here just to sort of give me some coverage back there and probably just clean up under my eye because i've really got smudges under my eye um and probably just put a lipstick back on but i'm actually quite happy with this final look and like i say this was all my expensive makeup um and i think after what so i started doing my makeup at eight eight nine o'clock this morning and it's now eight o'clock in the evening so i've been wearing it for about a 10 11 hours um i feel like my makeup looks really good and i haven't powdered or I haven't touched my makeup at all today. I just let it do its own thing. Because um, sometimes during the day I would powder and reapply my lipstick. Sometimes clean up under my eye. Um, but I didn't want to do that because I wanted to do a true wear test of what my makeup looks like after like 10, 11 hours. I think it still looks decent. I would happily still go out like this. Like if I got asked to go out right now. I wouldn't be annoyed because I, my makeup looks okay. Um, but yeah, I'm actually quite happy with this. So the next um, clip you're going to see will be me applying my full face of cheap makeup. And we can see then if the expensive makeup is worth it or if the cheaper products are just as good. So I'm sorry, obviously... I can't really show you in natural lighting. I'm I'm just working with what I got. 
and I didn't want to use a ring light because a ring light really sort of smooths out all the imp like imperfections like I was saying earlier so I tried to do the best I can so I hope you kind of get the gist and kind of understand what I'm talking about but yeah I will see you whenever I do my cheap makeup <sighs> I'm up I am up. Do you ever wake up and you kind of feel like a zombie? That is me right now. We're just gonna ignore my very messy hair, my very tired face. Um, I literally woke up like this. <laughs> Today, I'm obviously doing my cheap makeup wear test. Um, it's literally been like a whole week for me. It's now the next Tuesday because I wanted to make sure that on both days I was wearing the makeup for like an entire day. Um, and I haven't really gone out at all. Um, only once or twice, but I wasn't wearing the makeup for long. Um, so again, it's another Tuesday and I'm going out to see my dad again. All the products I'm going to be using for today is for the cheap side. Um, so again, like I said, I'm pretty sure I said in the expensive face. <laughs> um, if you haven't seen my expensive versus cheap makeup yet video, go watch that first and then come back and watch this. Um, I'm just going to do a time lapse, just like the expensive side of me putting on all my cheap makeup. And then I will show you my outfit and the makeup before and after so yeah let's get this let's get this going Sorry if you can hear like a rumble, it's the tumble dryer, so sorry about that. But my makeup is all done. Now to sort out this hair, well, kind of all done. I've just got to do my lip. Um, now I'm going to sort my hair out and figure out what the hell I'm going to wear for today. Um, but yeah, this is the cheap makeup. Um, when I get changed and that I will show you what I'm wearing and I'll show you my makeup in natural lighting like I did before. Um, but I'm happy with it so far. I'm gonna go and have breakfast, decide my outfit, get ready for the day and I'll see you in a second. <laughs> okay, outfit time. The jeans are the same jeans from last week which were from Simply B. This jumper is new and it's from Tesco and the boots are from ASOS. Very, very cute, very awesome me, loving it. Um, but let's get on to the makeup. And here is the makeup. I, th I don't know which one I prefer. I took some pictures of my makeup from when I did my expensive face. So I'll put them on screen now. So hopefully you can get a bef what my expensive makeup looks like when I first did it. And this is my cheapest, obviously. Um, see, right now in my head, I, I can't think of which one I prefer. Um, but let me know in the comments. Do you prefer the cheap or expensive? 
because I can't decide right now. They both look pretty good. So I'm going to do what I did last time and come back in however long, a few hours, and I will show you my makeup after a few hours of me wearing it. And she's back. It is now like seven o'clock in the evening. Um, I thought I would do what I did last week. Um, so it's, or oh, well, for you, about probably 10 minutes ago. Um, and I'll show you what my makeup looks like in non-natural lighting because obviously, um, as I said in last time, we get darker nights quicker over here in the UK. So I thought it's for a fair test, I will show you my makeup in non-natural lighting and just tell you what I think I prefer from each side. So I definitely think I prefer the base on the cheap side like my foundation and concealer and powders um definitely was a lot better the bronzer i prefer on this side the blush is still good but i think i preferred the more expensive one the highlighter on both sides were pretty good um the eyebrows i don't know i think i prefer the more expensive um, but these have lasted pretty well. Like, they they just still look pretty good. My eyeshadow has gone very um, patchy and creased and, like, smudged on the cheap side. Where it didn't really do that on my expensive side. And my mascara has smudged loads underneath my eye. So, I think, base-wise, the cheap side one... But for like for eyes and eyebrows and stuff, the expensive side, I definitely preferred as well the lipstick on the expensive side because it lasted a lot longer. A formula and a colour I preferred. But I definitely think both like cheap and expensive, at the end of the day, both still look bad, but both still look good in their own ways. Like, I don't think you have to always spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on makeup like I think in total if I remember correctly the total of all this makeup on my face right now is about 40 41 pounds which is really good because I used a lot of products for my face so I I think 40 pounds for this and you get some amazing products the only thing is you do have to look more and test more products out on the cheaper end because obviously not every cheap product you're going to buy is going to be amazing um, but you do find some amazing products like the foundation I love that's why it's one of my faves the concealers powders uh, I honestly love the end result to both of them and happy with both of them like after all a full day of me not I haven't powdered I haven't topped up my lip haven't done anything to my eyes I just let them do what they wanted I am happy with honestly with both the cheap side and the expensive but yeah I hope this video sort of was helpful in any way and sort of proves the fact that you don't always have to spend hundreds of pounds on expensive makeup products when by the end of the day it's gonna look all very similar so if you're happy with what you buy and what you look like then that is the main thing i get asked a few questions this is i now feel like i'm going on a bit of a tangent but i get a few like comments or dms on instagram mainly from people being like do you do your makeup for yourself or do you do it for other people and I generally always do my makeup for myself. Like if I go out there, like the other day I went out with um, nothing on my eyelids and then that like a bright colour like pink under my eye, which is like that trend. I don't know what it's called, um, but I've put some pictures on screen if I have some. Um, I went out like that. Now, some people would never go out in public like that. I'll happily do it because I don't do my makeup for other people. I do it for myself and 
like I would I wouldn't have gone out like that if I wasn't happy with my makeup but I loved my makeup that day um and I think it looked quite nice um but if people see me in public and think what the hell is she doing I don't care honestly because like I say I do my makeup for me if you do your makeup I think you should do it for yourself and not to please other people you should do it for your own joy anyway that was a bit of a tangent but a very well needed tangent i feel like but yeah i hope you still enjoyed this video if you did then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and ding the bell uh, to be notified when i post a new video i hope you enjoyed and yeah like i say i hope this video was a little bit helpful in any way or you just enjoyed it even if you didn't learn anything but you just enjoyed it i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you in my next video Bye.